So I'm gonna do a little experiment here for you guys to show you something. We seen at 200, 250 PSI, every hose was leaking like a sieve. The stuff was just bubbling out like some monster. Huge leaks everywhere. Only at 200 PSI or above. At vapor pressure of refrigerant, when only refrigerant was in the system, there was no leaks anywhere. A little bit of pickup, just a little bit, right here. That was it. All these leaks everywhere else, nothing was leaking at refrigerant pressures. When nitrogen was introduced, every hose leaked. Now, we know there's big leaks everywhere. So we have it under vacuum. We just went under 600 microns. So let's, let's watch what happens with all these big leaks. Every hose in that fitting is leaking and there's huge leaks everyone this one was just gushing out it was a big foam monster down here so let's see what happens under vacuum you know there's these instructors in in high school and uh college classes that say use vacuum to find leaks so let's see where this levels out at okay we're uh we're at 1300 microns and it's leveling out it's starting to step you see how, how it goes now every time it steps it should get slower and slower it's rise time is slower and slower you look down here to tell you it's doing an estimate it usually takes a few minutes before it tells you what its rate of rise is on an analog gauge you can never ever see this on an analog gauge now what else does this tell me well somebody retrofitted this over and they just put a brand new receiver dryer on there and they filled it up and they shipped it and said it was good to go which in the other videos i showed you how many leaks are on here which i could pick up with a good leak detector and just using soapy bubbles once i had 200 psi on here not refrigerant refrigerant wouldn't find the leaks now we're stabilizing you see we went to a peak and now we're coming back down so the system is stabilizing it's no longer leaking but we know every one of these hoses have a massive leak on them. Analog gauges can't find this. And if you have a teacher teaching you using analog gauges in the school, either tell him to ship up or ship out because we don't need instructors in our schools teaching to use vacuum to look for leaks. And we don't need instructors in school, and this is gonna piss a lot of the individuals off, teaching analog gauges you show them one day an analog gauge and go this is what your great great grandpappy used and you'll see these in the smithsonian okay that's what they're good for this is what superheating subcool this temperature saturation okay done class switch over to digital instructors you are the responsible ones out there sending generation after generation of ill-taught students practicing grandpappy's rules that shit don't fly anymore guys analog gauges don't find this nitrogen found this analog gauges won't find this vacuum won't find this and the exact opposite 180 degrees is true i could have a system that will have no leaks under 200 psi or 250 psi of nitrogen will not leak at all but cannot hold a vacuum it'll just go right down and come right back up to atmospheric huge leak but past nitrogen Instructors need to be instructed. There's too many old instructors who are allowed to be instructors who are not moving on in the game. They're stuck of what they were taught by an old guy when they were young 30 years ago. This has to stop. I'm pointing to you as instructors. You guys are the responsible ones to get the knowledge across. Either learn, catch up with the times, there or become a fossil, a dinosaur. Get recycled, become some oil, and use you for, make you useful for something. But stop teaching analog gauges. Stop teaching losing vacuum looking for leaks. See you guys later.